Sister family, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. your favorite couple, K and Dex. And today we are doing a reaction video to a video me and AJ posted yesterday. I think the video is different styles in the other room as religious couple. You know what we are about. As soon as we saw the religious couple, we're like, hmm. We need to do a reaction to this so that's basically it that's what the video is about wouldn't want to bore you before we get into the video please make sure you subscribe to our channel make sure you like comment and share so explain to them what is it i'm um, sorry sorry about the way the video is going to look right now but we just um it's taking a lot to do a lot of editing right now so i just decided we should do the video with this one at our background and our LED lights are showing in the screen so you can see the four dots on the TV they are just lights but forgive us for that maybe in the future videos we'll find a way to go around them but right now we we do not have a way to go around them so please bear with us and then um, enjoy the video as it is okay. so so we'll be pausing the video as we go by so you'll be watching it from that place and then we'll be watching it from something here, the phone, yeah. So can you can you turn the volume up a little? Volume. Yeah, press press the button from behind you. Sorry. <laughs> I was doing it from there. What's showing? It's going good. Is it okay? But let's try and see if it's not too loud. I never do I love sex so I don't marry. Okay, I think I it's okay. Love sex. But <laughs> when you pass your thing, then you know you pass your thing. This is so weird. Yes. <laughs> when you pass your thing, pass what's in a particular way that you, I, you do it and I, I love it, but I don't mm. communicate. Oh, I'm like. Sure. like <laughs> you know, like I'm just. Okay, so the way they started the video, Seth, is, is, is. Charlie, 18 years and above, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is X-rated. Yes, yes, yes. The way it started, 18 years and above, I beg. I said the way you pass your thing there. I don't really understand. I'll have to call them and find out what they are talking about. Not here. So, 18 years and above, I beg. <laughs> and and if you're, if you're single, eh, some of these things, when you're watching, be careful. Oh. You see, Bible says that do not awaken passion when it is not time. Don't go and disturb yourself and cram some things into your, your mind and then you'll be sitting in your room and <laughs> crying. Anyway, the Lord so. is merciful. But That's if you are 18 and above, I mean, you can watch it. Let's just continue. Mm, you can watch it, but don't go and practice some things that are not in your domain. I beg. Important. Disclaimer. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. You got their, their, uh, what do you call it? Intro something. So we something. did a post and um, asking you guys to tell us your age. You guys answered three point something tables. Thank you. We have over 18 years watching us. Thousands of 18 years, over 18 years watching us. So we are good to go. If you are not 18, just stick to our. Uh, good night. Ah, so they, they made their disclaimer. <laughs> Really want to watch this? Set a reminder on your phone. When I'm 18, I watch this video. Then come and watch. <laughs> All right, let's get right into the video. We are talking about sex and sex positions in marriage, Christianity, or religion, whatever. But before we go into that, um, giving back to mothers is still running. We have created a separate channel for giving back to mothers. So anything giving back to mothers related will be on that channel. If you are interested, you subscribe to that channel. We want to keep me and okay, we'll subscribe. Me and AJ. Have you know what you said? Yes. So please subscribe to that channel if you are interested. It's on your screen right now and the link is in the description box. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can talk. You see, I'm a communication expert. Yeah, I understand. I can even rap, rap, and rap, and rap, and rap. Okay. Now, when it comes to sex in marriage, religion, Christianity, I think it is very important. Yes, it's very, very, very important. Something that like needs to be enjoyed. Okay. Something that you don't have to do. Like. Why, why, why do we have sex in this world? Why do we have it? Do we have it just because of we want to give birth? No. There are so many ways. Like people do that. I don't even know the name for it, but they don't have sex, but they get pregnant. A whole lot. 
sex needs to be enjoyed. If, Wait, even if you are a guy, and those who don't have sex and they get pregnant, which one is it? IVF. Probably. That's IVF and then the artificial inseminations and anyway, so yeah. Don't have sex. You are married and don't have sex. Like what's straight? Like you know, your sex is very important. Maybe. Uh, but if you are married and you don't have sex, if I think the marriage can be nullified. Ali. Yes. Is it after a period? Yeah, after two years, if you don't. Uh -huh, if you have not consummated the, the marriage. Please. So sex is important. It very is very important. Yep. And sweet, as AJ said, not my ways. But I think Bible says that there's no defilement on any marital bed. That that one is there, but it says that how to the process the Bible interest exposition. Bible is not Kama Sutra. <laughs> Bible is not Kama Sutra. Basically, that's what it is saying here. I mean. Okay, but do you know one truth? Eh? Let me let me tell you the secret before you got married. I read Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> Did you also read? Uh, I had it. Did you read? I think so. I think... No. Yes, yes, I did. I did. Okay. You. Let's end it here. Thank you. Okay. So, me, my take on sex positions when it comes to marriage and Christianity is like, if you feel what you are doing you keep your love life or your marriage like going then do it the sex thing no? like when i say that okay but when it comes to the sex style then i think the reason why some people feel it's a sin is because of some of the styles like they mentioned yeah, some are mind-blowing unhealthy like how can you say fucking life <laughs> just the name that like hearing the name is criminal <laughs> <laughs> I think that when we get married, remember our counselor said it. He says that anything that is not unhealthy and it is not going to keep anyone in jail, you can do. <laughs> so I think that's what they are talking about. There are some styles that if you do one, kasa, you end up hurting yourself. Everything. How can you put do. your head down and someone look? Hey, baby, you come I mean, huh, let's go. What is monkey shadow? Hey. Touch the bridge. <laughs> anyway, right, so ah, whatever style you feel. Please, eh, if you know what catch the fridge looks like, please put it in the. I want. I. I. You want to see? I, 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 I don't please know. ask me. He was the one that said it. Catch the fridge, is eh? <laughs> This one and me, I disagree. With. Even if you don't do pull out safe, there's there's different different methods of contraception. So that one you can you can you can play around it. Uh, family planning stuff, contraceptives, uh, uh, condoms, um, all those lines of stuff. 
But even even in the Bible, remember there's a story of a man who was always spilling his semen and God killed him because he didn't want to have a child with his brother's wife for the child to be his brother's child. Here, here's the thing. You see, I think that the reason why God killed him is what you just said. Because if not for so, he's the only person in the Bible who has been killed for spilling. But the other people, they didn't spill for us to hear. Of course, definitely. <laughs> if if he has done it, it means it's something that was trending. Oh, no, me No, me Yes, please. <laughs> he knows that it is there. That's why he also did. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done. And I think God killed him because of the other motives he had for the spilling. Mm -hmm. Anyway, see, what what I've been I've been taught is that some areas that are gray areas and they are not clearly please be safe and do what is comfortable like mm -hmm. be led be guided if, if we do that we cannot live in this world like yeah. we can't yes that's why god has given us the brains mm -hmm. like we can we have a lot of technology like a lot of ways to yeah. like not pull out plastic i'm still thinking that people will not hear yeah. that Condom, IUD, a whole lot. Like, just listen to your hospital, they'll teach you what to do. Aye. I think, yeah, the pull out thing. I, I think I went ahead of me and AJ. I went to, I went to mention some things that I disagreed on. Anyway, he's, he's confirmed, so. <laughs> I don't think it's a sin. In my opinion, again. Yeah. Okay, all, all so let's continue. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me oh, yeah, I, 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 Okay, so here, disclaimer. This is my first time watching, and we are reacting straight, straight like live reaction. What I say? So if I jump ahead of him, don't come and bash me. That me to me boy, be It's live reaction, live as I watch. You're not watching it, so <laughs> yes, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> I also think it's very sin. So let's come to the sex thing again. Yeah. Okay, so let's come to the sex thing so I think um, we need to communicate. When you get married, you need to communicate. Yeah. yeah you you to wait, communicate, like, before you continue, you need to do what to get. You need to communicate. You need to sex. communicate. Okay. Yes, I'm watching. Do you communicate <laughs> or you assume one have to know? No, you, you wait you wait, wait for me to get it before you bring me. You use my own words to judge me. Okay. Okay. I... <laughs> Talk about you tell your other your significant other that you love sex because to me when I was I was dating you or when, when I wasn't married I never knew I love sex so I got married because I told you when I have sex because I wasn't married when I have sex I felt very bad that, 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 that I was here yeah. so that thing really was not making me feel for sex mm -hmm. but when I got married oh my goodness the white clouds the real sea so that I never knew I love sex so I got married. I really love sex. I think I'll support AJ in this. Sometimes if you are not married and you're having sex and your conscience is actually um always pricking you and all of that, you don't really enjoy. But when you have the full license to do it, that is when you know that you were a sex maniac or a sex addict. <laughs> Seriously. A freak. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I agree with AJ on this. But, I really love sex, but sometimes eh, I want my husband to sometimes, like, listen to the way. Sometimes when I tell you that I want to have sex with you, I feel like, see, yeah, sometimes you need to complain that, okay, I want to have sex with you. That's the best thing to do. You get it? But it's not always that I have to be telling you I have to have sex. I have to, I want to have sex. I want to have sex. But the third day you get married, okay, tell your spouse, okay, this this and this and how I want us to be doing so that it will spice up our it will spice up our sex mm. life. Because sex is really really important, guys. So with a communication thing across with me, I get you fine. You just want the man to automatically know that something needs to happen. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hear you. That's just. But I mean, when it comes to communicate, what do you think about the communication? See, me, I think it is. It is both ways. If I want to have sex, 
I'd say, if you want to have sex, you say. Everybody says, you say, I say, we say, and then it is okay. <laughs> and I say. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's okay. I mean, after all, it's not like you are begging. It's, it's a right. Mm. The Bible even says that you shouldn't, you shouldn't defraud your... <laughs> If you're hiding sex from somebody, you're, you're a fraudster. You're defrauding your partner. I'm talking about married people here. Please, if you're married. <laughs> so, for if you're married and then you're keeping sex from your partner, you're a fraudster. We are stuck our boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. In sex, what I think is, ladies, ladies, we are not robots or magicians. If you are enjoying it. Fast and affordable ride okay. at the tap of a button. Fault, the smartest way. Enjoy the ad way. Mark it. Mark that point for us to know that. Oh, this okay. Girl. This one entered. Like this one is eating. Yeah. Don't be quiet on the bed. Like, <laughs> I don't know, some magician mommy. <laughs> you know when we are doing the thing, and I know there's no particular way that we, I, you do it, and I, I love it, but I don't communicate. Oh, that'll be like, uh, oh, yeah, you yeah, I'm it. Really shy because you know, we when it comes to sex, we are shy. We get it. Some of the ladies, uh, we are we feel shy to talk about. Oh, when they end, they're not yet. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. The oh, 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 it's we are we are we feel shy to talk about it. I remember when we were doing it, and um, there was a style that you did, and uh, I really loved it. Like I felt it. It was making me get smile. You, you, you get it. The higher peak, the, the the orgasm thing. I was getting there. No, then he stopped. I, I was like, oh no, you were not supposed to stop. Continue that way. <laughs> I was so shy to tell you about that. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> If this one is so true you need to communicate how you are feeling because me i don't mind telling you that don't stop this thing you get it because if you don't say the person wouldn't know and if the person does it over time and and you would be man let the person know as i always the person's energy you get it you need to communicate where they are doing well let them know where they are not doing well and then so on let them just stop and do what you want them to do you get it? if you don't communicate they are saying never you won't say be giant and i age a be you see, if you tell us, okay, that like, yes, I like, I, I like it, like, respond, hum, 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 like, respond, do you know what you do? It gives us a different energy again. So going for it. Yeah, because you, you want to satisfy your partner. I think we should produce harm energy drink. <laughs> for women. <me. laughs> Say harm, harm energy drink. Yes. <laughs> we have to look into this. <laughs> it's a new business we can start together. <laughs> harm energy. <laughs> yeah. Harm energy like, drink. It gives you a different energy. energy. I do. Okay. Let me keep hitting that way. But when you're quiet on the bed, being like that, like sometimes you ask yourself questions. And I know, I know, and I know, uh, guys, you have to try and let the lady come before you come. If you are quiet like that and the guy is just hitting and hitting and hitting, no, no matter. Wasting it. Like, he, he, he won't think about you. He will think, Charlie. Everything is okay, and you just come in, you will not enjoy. So, I think we, we ladies have to communicate. Say, it should be a dinner. Like, yeah, then you'll be getting to that thing. Like, like, virgins who get married, like, <laughs> most of them are suffering. You know? I'm not saying it's, it's a bad thing. Like, most of them are suffering because if the guy is a virgin, the girl is a virgin. Do we have virgin guys? Yeah, we do. Okay. So if they are both very like I I'm wondering how I'm going to do but there's this story like this <laughs> story is actually it actually happened. Okay. They were together and they thought they were having sex. For days, for more than one month, they thought they were having sex. Not really, they were not having sex. 
The thing is not entering. But the guy you. doesn't know. Yeah. It seems like any day, you don't know about them. And the thing is not entering. The girl also doesn't know. But I'm wondering, how won't you know? Mm-hmm. Then the, if the thing is not entering, how won't you know? Like, that reminds me when we were dating, the day that we were about to do it, like, she was about to take my virginity. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was funny. Like, I was asking, me, is he entering? Is he entering? What was me more that I think is entering? I'm supposed to do because I don't know anything about it. I was like, is he entering? Is he entering? And no, it wasn't, it didn't be entering. It's something that took time. You see, they are playing for this. <laughs> She's jumping certain things. See, let me tell you. <laughs> Before we got married, when we were dating, mm. yeah, we did it. We've told you this already. Yeah. And we don't think it's the best if yeah. you can abstain and stay. We wish we were. We didn't do it. So yeah. Mind, yeah. Yeah. If you can't abstain, but I it's your life. Yeah, I can't decide your life. Anymore. <laughs> so um, this lady doesn't want to do it. She says she sees that clouds, and you know, as a young guy, me too. I want to explore. And, but I honestly like didn't you want to. You need to explore. What you go and explore? Did I want to do it? <laughs> did you force me? I was curious. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. This lady here was like you. Let brush the front like but far no, no. Just rub it on the on the tip. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not rubbing it on the yeah, but, uh, I don't rubbing it on the tip will trigger things. <laughs> it will trigger things if you rub it on the tip. If you don't know by then, I'm I'm educating you, go back, I'm educating you. <laughs> if you rub it on the tip, it will enter. I didn't know new could time travel. <laughs> Because you are cutting something which is going to get the place lubricated. So <laughs> she was running that thing. Before I was seeing, she had said she's pushing the thing to enter. That's the same Ah, me too, Charlie. That, that time, Charlie, man, make work. So me, I, you know, but I, 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 had, I, had, I had experience, but I didn't enter also. So I didn't hurt her, I didn't destroy her. <laughs> But this girl, right after the thing, this girl says she is pregnant. The <laughs> 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 one I saw that at the experience, I thought I was pregnant. She says she is pregnant. <laughs> and I said, eh, how? Yeah. You go home, you are not pregnant. She said, I didn't And she was crying. The moment, I, I felt the moment she knelt down and we were like, it is no, I'm destroyed her life. You're not pregnant. And she was trying to console me. She, she, she actually like, disturbed my life. Three days, this girl called me. She is pregnant. She can feel something moving inside her. I'm like, oh my God. You are pregnant in less than one week. No, I mean, I know nothing happened because she was, she was a virgin. So I, I really know nothing happened. I know. I have to go and buy pregnancy test for this girl. She did the test two times. Still, she said she was pregnant. I got hungry. Yeah. I thought she stopped. I was like, you are pregnant, you are tired. You see that thing? So, so um, if you are a virgin and your guy is also a virgin, I think you guys, you need to talk to someone. Yeah. Or even if you are not enjoying your sex life, you need to talk to, find a counselor, counselor who trust. <laughs> oh, he's very good with sex, trust me. He says things, but that's for social media or media. When you go to him. Have you gone to him? Counselor who trust. No. Ah. No, the things he says. Nipa, <laughs> You have not gone to the person. I didn't want that to say. It's like telling me a drobi bedjo. I don't know. No, 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 before you go marry, like our counselor, elder at the apple. He's good, he's good like that. Like he's good. He was like, sometimes AJ can dress before she leave for work. You will see her, you'll be like, wow. Catch her and knock her one. And let her send it to work. Charlie, she's cool like that. So I said she's really cool like that. Yeah. Find a counselor, you can talk to your parents if they are experienced. Please don't go and talk to parents that will do I could say I better have a memo of Talk to experienced parents if you can talk to them. Yeah, if you can talk to your parents. So your parents should also be okay. So, okay, please, you can also read books eh? in case you don't have anyone to talk to. There are a lot of books out there you can just buy, read them. You can even get um, e books to read. Just 
Search. I think the Kama Sutras ever got ebook. Maybe. Yeah, it was ebook I got. I got. Mm-hmm. So you can just get books to read if you don't have anyone to talk to. But if you have <clears throat> someone to talk to, as they said, a counselor or your parents or someone you can really trust that they'll give you good advice, you can as well go to them. So if you're a parent out there, you have to be your worst friend so that they can talk to you. Okay, so how about people who even though it's lubricated, they feel pains? I think it depends on the the way the person's place is, because some people can be lubricated that things should say a bulldog or not, but say <laughs> <laughs> it gets it, but still the person will feel pain. So if the pain is too much, I think you have to go and see a doctor. If it's too much, because you never know, maybe there's something there that is causing the thing to be that painful you get it so okay you get it but even and if... there are some ladies they have problem with their when like if the place can't really lubricate well mm. you have to get that you know the thing that you said uh oh, yes. the lubri- lub- is it lubricant yeah yeah, yeah. Lubricant. yeah not vaseline <laughs> <laughs> Like for the trip is okay, so. okay, so we can we can suggest this to you KY gel. Is it called KY gel? It's a lubricant. You can buy that if you it's not necessarily for someone who has problem with lubrication, but it's just for moments that you want to do papa pa, pa, pa and things are not falling in place. You can just KY gel, it's a good one, it's a good choice. <laughs> for the one. Let's continue. Okay, yeah, so there are some people they can't really lubricate well, so you just have to get to the can to help you. There's the medical ones, not yeah, yeah, the yeah. go to the point and point yeah, yeah. go to the drugstore. Especially yes, those who are about to be disvergen because you are married. You see if you are finding it difficult to penetrate and if the guy should force it too much, we it's like tear yeah. things and you can get this lubricant. Is it lubricant? Yeah, lubricant. Lubricant, yes, it's in I have different. No, it's oh. in gel. Hey, oh. my I've been in a pharmacy before, so I don't know. You know, 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 I You know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know, Okay, one thing I'll say is that it's not always that you need to do penetrative sex because sex is not just the penetrative one. All the foreplay and all of that is also sex. So if you get the KY gel or the gel as they are saying, sometimes you just need to even rub it in between your thigh. You are sorted. You don't do any juma baby, yeah, you get it. Sometimes, like, it depends on you. Maybe you don't want to do the penetrative one, but you still want to have sex. This one that you are dropping all your counselor's information to them, they should go and pay your counselor. What is that? 
Anyway, <laughs> free advice. <laughs> yes. That advice. So if you don't want to do penetrative sex, but you still want to have sex, so you need to, like, let's say you're in your menses and your partner wants to have sex, you can just use the gel in between your thigh and then things can go on. Free advice. If you you guys can't really lubricate with oil naturally, then you just have to get yeah. the lubricant. And out. see a doctor to help you lubricate yeah. that kind. Maybe psychological. Sometimes they are not really thinking, they are not really into the sex thing. Maybe your mind, you are having sex with your partner, but your mind is... There, there is this, this quote, or is it a book? You see, the, your brain is your biggest sex organ. Your brain, not your private parts. So, if your mind is not in the right place, forget it. You won't enjoy. That's when it helps, like, it, it really um, it doesn't help you to lubricate if your mind is not on it. So, if you're having sex, you have to bring all your, all you, all your, all in all into the sex. Tell me, I'll be a sex doctor. <laughs> Um, what is what is the what is the actual name for sex doctors? Is there a name for them? Sexologist. Ah, uh, well, hey. Sexologist. Please, I beg. Let's continue. Ah. Anyway, guys, I think we've taken much and enough of your time. Yeah. Or you have something to add? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the Bible, let me read the Bible. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You guys, you think what? You know, <laughs> what do you think what? Yeah, that's really that one to face me. But Jasho, actually it's okay, guys. If you are not subscribed to this channel, like subscribe to this channel, okay? Please take us to 40k. Then we'll start taking off 50k. Like, please. You watch our videos. Per the anal analytics. Most of you are not subscribed. I know it is not intentional. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. So just hit the subscribe button there right now. It's red. Hit on it. Hey. Fast and affordable rides at the tap of a button. Bolt, the smartest way to move. Charlie. Oh. And you will subscribe to us. Wait, 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 wait. People, you hear me? He's going to 50k. He's begging to get to, to, to. He's asking to subscribe to get to. Please. Let me, let me also say my own. <laughs> We just got one key. You push us to two key. Can you tell me You push us to two key, two pe. Then we we'll, we we'll progress from there. Yeah. So as you push us, make sure you go push them to to the forty k yeah, they are talking. Yeah. About. Make sure you do that for them. Yeah. Uh, wait, oh, but let me let me talk. These people, these people are like the the biggest one of the biggest YouTubers in Ghana right now, and it's 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 really hard to find a channel that cannot trace a part of what is going on in there to them and big ups to them they really are a, a, a force to reckon with in the world of youtube especially in ghana yeah. god bless you guys god, god bless, bless you, you. Mom watch this video yes. Mom, bye. yes we are married <laughs> we are married me i know my mom my mom, <laughs> my mom my mom is watching like she doesn't miss any of our videos <laughs> my dad is laughing Okay, so this is what the Bible says about sex. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 7, 3, chapter 7, 3 to 5. Come on. <laughs> the husband should give to his wife her conjugal rights, and likewise the, the wife too to her husband. What? For the wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. Likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Oh, do not deprive one another, except perhaps by agreement for a limited time that you may devote yourselves to prayers. But then come together again so that Satan may not tempt you because of lack of self control. Amen. So you see, the scripture I was talking about, and I don't know what good, you know, fraud. Oh, you're yeah, a fraud type. <laughs> if you don't give yourself to your partner, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. But then if you are married, there's one scripture to want to add. Drink water from your own system. Because even Bible says that stolen bread is what? Oh, a dose. And, and another, another one. Bread eaten in secrecy. 
The stolen water is sweet. Uh-huh. And bread well, is in the secret. Yes, uh, maybe we have forgotten the, the last one. Yes, yes, yes. So in case we find it, we'll just put the Bible verse in there for you too. Yeah, I think it's in Proverbs. Yeah. So, thank you so much for joining us in this video. We hope you enjoyed this video. We just wanted to add our voices to it. This is a nice video. Like, I think mm. for um, religious people to talk about this, it's a plus. Because normally we are shy to talk about sex and all of that. I went to, which church are they going to preach the sex? Which pulpit? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Or so, which classroom? Say, even classroom say, they don't talk about, talk about that. it. Recently, they, there's this movie on Netflix, Sex Education. It's the bombest <laughs> fraud. The title is a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it, eh? Clip yeah, it, eh? but the the movie is is some way it's pushing all sorts of agendas and it's it's okay. I mean, well, I, I it's not okay for me, but many people who watch it say it's okay, and that is them. Oh yes, yeah. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion, mm-hmm. but what what I'm saying is, it's not always that you find people talking about sex. It's not always that you find in church um, um, in christian circles they see somebody will talk to you about your sexual life it won't happen and so when you find people like this doing it big ups to them Come, thank you god bless you for talking about this thing boldly so when we saw the video we were like oh we didn't even watch we just wanted to watch right from the thing and then just charlie god bless you guys we pray that your channel keeps growing we pray that you see higher heights in life, your marriage, everything that concerns you. We pray that it goes well with you. So please, until the next video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment, like, and share. So until the next video, adios. Hello, think about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your time and support. Yes, it is. And the video. Oh, the sex no here. Oh, the sex there, there, there.